Damien Escobar is known as the hip hop violinist, but his passion for music encompasses all genres. The Queen's native began his career playing on subways and now plays all over the world. His latest album, 25 Days of Christmas, fully embraces the holiday spirit. And here he is performing Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. He's amazing. Well, that was Damien. That was from Damien Escobar's new album, 25 Days of Christmas. And here to tell us all about his new release is musician, entrepreneur, philanthropist, mentor, Mr. Damien Escobar. Good morning, Damien. How are you doing? Great, great. Thanks for coming back to the Pix 11 Morning News. It's so nice yeah, to finally meet you. <laughs> Likewise. Likewise. All right, well, con congrats on the new album. Thank you. You know, I feel good about it. You know, I. I I actually produced that record uh, last year at the height of the pandemic. You wow. know, I had COVID blues and I love Christmas music. So I just started listening to Christmas music in July. And I'm like, if it makes me feel this good, why not do an album and, and make everybody else feel good? Yeah, was, so is was, that, you know? Yeah, was that what inspired you to release this album and, and at this particular time? Oh, absolutely. I wanted to release it in the summer. <laughs> I'm like, that may, that may not be appropriate. You know, but yeah, without a doubt, you know, it's it's all about bringing people joy and, you know, music is medicine, it's healing, you know, so, um, you know, why not do it through uh, some holiday classics? Yeah, hey, listen, I'm not opposed to celebrating Christmas in July. <laughs> right. Right? right. I mean, so many great <laughs> holiday songs out there, too. So how did you de oh, even yeah. decide on what to put on that record? You know, every, every song doesn't sound good on violin, you yeah. know, so it's like, you know, you go through it, you kind of play through a few different songs and... You know, it's, it's all about what works melodically. And, and then you have to tell a story with the record. So, you know, I just chose like, you know, seven of my favorite songs. And um, it, it gives me an opportunity to do more if I want to do another holiday record. But yeah, that makes with sense. this one, it was seven of my favorites. Yeah, what are some of the songs we're going to hear on your album? Um, you got Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. You have the Christmas song, which is, uh, people know it as Chestnuts. Yeah. Um, do You Hear What I Hear, uh, This Christmas. You know, which is amazing. And you know, it's um it feels very Motown. The whole vibe is, you know, very Motown, very Donnie, very Stevie. You know, it's very. it's it's really all about feel good. You know, I remember growing up and listening to Jackson Five Christmas album in my yeah. house. And I was like, I wanna do that. <laughs> you know, so oh, that's man. the vibe. So very cool. You know, your pl your pl your style of playing, it's like just so full of energy. How long have you been Thank playing you. it and what actually drew you to play the violin? Uh, I, wow, I've been playing for about 27 years now, and I fell in love with the instrument. I was a young kid that, you know, had to take him to third grade, and, you know, I couldn't sing. You know, you wouldn't want to hear me sing. <laughs> you know, I, I couldn't <laughs> sing, so I'm like, you know, the violin, I want to make the violin sound like Whitney Houston. I loved Whitney Houston when I was a, a young kid, and and, um, and I, that was my goal, yeah. you know, and, and uh, I hope I achieved it by just making it sing. It's an instrument that's really close to the voice. Yeah, I start, I play the violin. I started when I was seven, but quit by the time I reached high school. And now you're making me regret it. <laughs> I wish I would have kept you, playing. Look, if you, I, I really if wish you I played that long, you could probably still play. Uh, I can, I, you know, I'll have to try and pick up the violin again. But, <laughs> you know, at the time when music yes. programs are all being cut, all across the country. Yeah. What do you have to say about that and, and what music brings to our lives and the lives of children? Oh, yeah. 
you know what? I, I, for, for me, it's heartbreaking, you know, mm-hmm. and it's, uh, it's unfortunate even around the country, the first thing to go are arts programs. And it's, yeah. it's, it blows my mind because art programs, they do so much for kids, you know, it instills confidence and it instills discipline, you know, um, and it's, it's heartbreaking, you know, but you can't sit and complain about it. You just have to get into action. So, you know, through my organization, our goal is to get art programs back into schools um, around the country. But, you know, it's important to start local. Yeah. You know, so we're working in New York and 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 trying to get programs back into schools and, and offering after school programs. Yeah. Um, you know, that's the goal because it, I feel like every kid should have the opportunity to at least choose to play an instrument. Absolutely, oh, absolutely. Yeah. I it's totally agree thing. with you. Well, great work that you're doing. Thanks so much for sharing you. your talent with us and the world. Thank you. And have a wonderful holiday. So his album, Damien. 25 Days of Christmas, is out now. So be sure to pick it up. Damien Escobar. What a talent.